on passions. A young mother suffers her biggest loss. Mommy! No one is gonna take you away from me. Passions, NBC Daytime. All right, I came as soon as I heard. What's going on? Sheridan was sleepwalking. She was out on the cliff near the cemetery. I had a dream. I heard my baby crying, and I went to go find him. And I could hear it getting closer and closer, but then I woke up. Is that the place near the bridge where the car... Yes. Oh. Doctor, is she going to be all right? She was walking around in the snow for who knows how long and just her nightgown. I'm going to give her a thorough examination, but it's, it's good you found her when you did. Well, I think the sleepwalking is, is a result of all the stress that she's been under. I think it's going to be quite a while before Sheridan finally and completely comes to grips with the reality that her baby is dead, that she's never going to see the baby again. Where'd you put those things, precious? Hey. Hey, I don't like that crazy look on your face. What are you up to now? Those things that uh, Precious bought at the shopping network, where are they? Who cares? Look, you have got to give Sheridan back her baby. You can't keep tormenting the poor woman like this. This is my baby, and I'm never giving him back. Precious, go get all that stuff that you bought and bring it back to me, now. Hey, what were you talking about up that cliff, huh? What are you planning to do to poor Sheridan now? Nothing. I'm not gonna do anything, Mother. Sheridan's gonna do it to herself. Sheridan's gonna kill herself. <sighs> Is it? Now you really should stay away from Whitney, Russell. Why should I? Because I don't want you breaking a poor girl's heart and she's not over Chad Harris yet. You're really in no position to give me advice about my love life, Father. You're marrying Rebecca to keep her quiet about your affair with Dr. Eve. You're right. I'm marrying a woman I don't love to protect the one I do, the one I should have married all those years ago. Well, I'm not going to repeat your mistake. I'm gonna marry Whitney when I'm young. That way I won't have any regrets when I'm your age. Gwen. Honey, everything looks beautiful. I know Sarah would have really loved all these flowers. Yeah. Mother, I just, I, I don't believe this. I mean, I just can't believe I'm never gonna see my Sarah again. She'll always stay with us in our hearts. Oh, uh, Ethan, did you give Gwen the ring you got from Teresa? <sighs> no, not yet. But if you'll kindly give us a moment. I know that when you took this ring off, you, uh, you were upset and you had very good reason to be. But if, if you'll again put this ring on your finger, I'll do everything I can to be the man and the husband that you deserve. And I'll protect you, and I'll cherish you, and I will love you for the rest of your life. So will you, will you allow me to put this on your finger again?
Ethan, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. You're both in my prayers. I'm having a mass set for you, little girl. I'm so sorry for your loss. For Sheridan's baby, for your granddaughter. I'm so sorry. Thank you. And I am here for the both of you, Ethan and Gwen. Oh, but it thank you so, so much. My Gwen has lost her baby. And now Teresa is going to lose hers. And Pilar is going to lose another grandchild. Rebecca, now really is not the time. Oh, this is the perfect time. Julia, they're going to put my beautiful little granddaughter in this cold, hard ground. And Teresa is going to pay for killing this child. She's going to know exactly what it feels like to have a child taken away because she is going to live it. Mommy! Please, please give me a little boy. Give me. I'm please. sorry, Miss Lopez Fitzgerald. As I told you, he is now in the custody of the state. You are not fit to raise this child. Uh, that is a Mommy. lie. I am his mother. Now, please, Mommy. don't do this. Give me my son. Again, I'm sorry, but as of today, this boy is no longer your child. No. No, let me go. Of the one who could sing so sweet, and I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew. You'd take me high as breathe in, breathe out. You keep me alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life. Doctor, she will be all right. Physically, she's fine. And the sleepwalking, as I said, I think it's just a, a result of all the trauma that you've been through. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll have to start wearing a bell so someone will know when I'm sleepwalking. Sheridan, it's okay. I'll be here. <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't help before, did it? Don't worry, I'll be here, Sheridan. You know what? It's getting late, and I better get ready for the funeral for Gwen's baby. Well, hold on there. You sure you still want to go? <sighs> Police, Sheridan's my wife. She and I'll decide whether or not she feels up to going. Now, look, I'm not going to tell you again, Antonio. She's not your wife. Well, according to the law, she is. And I say not for long. Sheridan, honey, why don't you go inside and, and, and get dressed? Will you be here when I get back? Yes, I will. I'm not going anywhere. Thank you. You know, I'll be fine, really. I, I just have to go get dressed now. Yeah. Please, Antonio, if you love Sheridan the way you say you do, then you should stop fighting in front of her. But you, you're going to kill her if you don't. <laughs> you know, I thought this was a waste of money when you bought it, Precious. But I have got the perfect use for these things now. What? What? What are you planning to do with them? I am going to use these babies to get what I want. Sheridan dead. <laughs> Wait, uh, stop talking in riddles, will you? Just tell me what you're planning to do, that poor woman. You won't believe it, Mother. This is my best plan ever. I know exactly how Sheridan is going to die. She won't be around to get in the way of my happiness with Louise ever again. Her life is finally going to end. She's as good as dead now. <laughs> Mamacita Pilar looks so sad for Gwen. She's going to have her own reason to be sad by the end of the day. It was not a good idea to file a complaint with the Child Protective Services. Well, how else were we going to get Teresa's child away from her? Take her baby away? I understand your need for revenge. Julian, please. Stop whining about this. Teresa is getting exactly what she deserves. All right, just wait. 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 Look. Don't do this. 
Okay, little Ethan, he's, he's my son. He's mine. Who says that I'm unfit? The department has made a decision that you're unfit. Therefore, we are taking custody of your son. This is, this is crazy, okay? Who says that I am unfit? I told you, the, the Department of Child Protective Services. Why? Why? Why is this happening? How? Mommy! Mommy! Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. Don't worry, all right? No one is going to take you away from me. Now, could you please just let me go? Please! What are you doing? Stay back, call me! Get her! Forget me! Just get the child! Whitney, are you okay? Oh, oh yeah, I'm all right. I'm just a little worried, that's all. You worried Teresa's gonna show up here? Yeah. I mean, even though Ethan warned her to stay away, I know Teresa. And she's not likely to listen to anybody. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's gonna take her a while to get over Ethan, you know? If she ever does. I feel sorry for her if she doesn't. I mean, she will wind up alone because I truly believe that Ethan is truly committed to Gwen this time. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I just I hope Teresa could control herself enough not to come here today, you know? Mm. Kind of be a big slap in the face to Gwen. Yeah, yeah, it would. You know, Fox, I know this might not be the best time to bring this up, but um, I know how you feel about Teresa. We've talked about it before, talking about getting Teresa to fall in love with you. Yeah. Right. Well, so far, it's uh, not very encouraging. Well, I'm still willing to give it a shot. So what do you think? Do you still want me to help you be with the woman that you love? I want that more than anything. Ethan. I want you to know that... Teresa truly feels terrible about what happened with the baby and Gwen. I know that. God knows my Teresa has made many mistakes. I myself at times have been her biggest critic. But she can't be held responsible for what happened to Sarah. But the fact is... Uh, Teresa can't be anywhere near Gwen. Teresa can't be anywhere near me. And Teresa has to stay away from us for the rest of our lives. It's really nice to see some friends here. I just wish they could have seen Sarah, my beautiful little girl. I, I know you're hurting. And I know you miss her. I miss her so much. Oh, I just thank God that Teresa's giving me a break for a change, and she's not going to show up here and make a spectacle of herself. Teresa has her own problems right about now. You mean the social worker is taking little Ethan away from her? Mm-hmm. As we speak. Nobody, and I mean nobody, hurts my daughter and gets away with it. All right, all right, Miss Lopez Fitzgerald. That's enough of this nonsense. Now, there's nowhere to run. Just give me the child. You go to hell. I need that baby. I'm still crying. Would you do something? Not yet. Oh, you know, that poor little fella never cries when Sheridan holds him, huh? Do you notice that, huh? <laughs> How quiet he gets when Sheridan picks him up in her loving arms. Oh, he knows who his real mommy is. Mm-hmm. So you keep saying. Well, it's the truth, and the least you can do was feed him. I will feed him in a minute. Oh, I need a minute. For what, huh? Huh? What the hell are you gonna do? It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. What the hell are you doing? Listen and learn. <laughs> You're gonna make 
make us listen to the baby crying in stereo? Oh, <sighs> Mother, Sheridan went out to that cliff because she thought she heard her baby crying. Yeah, so? So, I'm just setting her up for a return engagement to that cliff. Now, I am gonna find the perfect opportunity to plant these speakers near Sheridan. Then she's gonna hear the baby crying and she's gonna go looking for him. She's gonna be overwhelmed by emotion and of course blinded by tears and then whoop. See you later, <laughs> right off the cliff. You are Satan himself, the devil! <laughs> Maybe I don't have to worry about sharing it anymore. I'll get Luis all to myself. Dr. Russell, what do you mean we're gonna kill Sheridan? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I know that was a little melodramatic. I just wanted you to understand that you can't fight in front of Sheridan. You know what? You're absolutely right. So, Luis, why don't you do us all a favor and just stay the hell away from Sheridan? Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen, and you know it. Just stop it! Just will you stop it? I understand how, how hard this is for you to deal with. But you can't put Sheridan in the middle of it and ask her to decide between the two of you because she is, is not in a position to do that right now. You're right. We're lucky Sheridan's even alive after everything she's been through. She was kidnapped. She's forced to have a baby in a dungeon and she's thrown in the ocean to drown. And not to mention watching her own baby being driven off the bridge into the ocean. Exactly. Do you have any idea how many women would have had a psychotic episode, a breakdown by now, with the trauma that she's been through? And so you're going to add more stress to her life? And then what's going to happen? Maybe she'll just shut down mentally just to keep herself from the pain. Or go into a psychological coma. Is that what you want? No, of course not. I just want Sheridan to be back to her normal self. Healthy and happy. Then please stop saying and doing things that will exacerbate the situation. Yo, do you, do you still think it's a good idea for her to go to Gwen's baby's funeral? Isn't it going to upset her more seeing the baby right there after she's just lost one herself? It might. I'm, I'm worried about that, too. But she wants to be there for Gwen at the funeral, so I'm going to stay with her and I'm going to keep an eye on her and, and make sure that everything's all right. And if nothing else happens, I think that she should be okay. Change. You still want Teresa to fall in love with you, right? I want the woman that I love to love me, yes. Well, then I totally can help you. Like I said, I know Teresa better than anyone. I can tell you all the things you need to do to make her like you, and eventually, I think she will fall in love with you. Hmm. I don't know, though. I mean, loving a woman who's in love with another man sounds to me like an impossible situation. Fox. Come on, you're a wonderful man. Any woman would be thrilled to have you in love with her. You're funny and generous and thoughtful. I think you can definitely make Teresa forget all about Ethan. Think so? I do. I think you can make any woman in the world fall in love with you. Huh. Well, I hope you're right. I sure hope so. I didn't want to bother Ethan and Gwen with details of the service, so I wondered if I could go over a few things with you, Mrs. Hodgkiss. Of, of course, Father. 
The first, I must offer you my condolences. It must be a terrible, terrible thing to lose a grandchild. Yes. Yes, it is. But then sometimes, even the darkest cloud has a silver lining. You're speaking of the baby's ascension into God's loving arms, of course. No. No, Father, I'm not. I'm saying that God isn't the only one who seeks vengeance. Teresa, there's no need for a scene. We're not here to hurt your son. We want to help him. We want to help you. Look, I don't need any help. Now, just please, just go away and leave me and my son alone. There's nothing you can do today. There'll be a hearing. You'll have a chance to be heard. But for the child's safety, we have to take him today. Why don't you just give us the child, ma'am? for yourself, Teresa. Now open this door and give me the boy. Oh, he's on the answer. He's probably at the funeral. Of course, he's going to this one. Luis, I'm going to call my brother. Of course, he's the police. He can help us. He can help us. He's going to help us. You're going to get yourself cited for contempt if you don't open this door, ma'am. Do not make me break this door down. What? What? Oh, he's not answering. Teresa, please, can't you see how you're upsetting your son? Now just... Hand him over and it'll be fine. No! I am not giving you my son. I will not let you have him. Well, what are you gonna do? You can't hide in there forever. I'm not gonna give you my son! I told you, you have no choice. The longer you resist, the harder you make it for yourself and for your son. And I told you to go to hell. I understand that you want to go to the funeral with Sheridan, but you have to promise me that, that you're going to be very supportive. Of course. It's going to be hard for her. Yeah, it might. Sheridan will be thinking how she will never have any closure or funeral for her own baby. Damn it, we should have been able to find her baby. Well, I should have saved it. Must have been something that I could have done. No! Sheridan! Sheridan, what is it? I'll save you! I'll save you, my baby! Sheridan, no, there's no baby in the water. Sheridan, look at the water. No, honey, there's no baby in the tub. No, then, then where is it? Where'd it go? There's no baby, Sheridan. There's no baby in the tub. No! Then where is it? Where's my baby? No! <laughs> are an evil, evil, evil girl, Beth Wallace. No, Mother, I'm a winner. And Luis is going to be mine forever <gasps> as soon as I get rid of my competition. No, you. You are going to go straight to hell for what you are doing, luring Sharon up to the edge of that cliff, letting her fall to her death. That is horrible. Horrible! Actually, I think it's pretty clever. Sheridan will hear her baby crying, and she'll recognize him because I used her baby to make the recording. Then she's going to go looking for him, and she'll become distraught and confused and hopefully even panicked to the point where she will walk right off this cliff. No, no. one will be able to trace her death back to me. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, somebody will find the speakers that you, you're planting and, and, and they will get your fingerprints. Mother, please, 
Don't you think I would get rid of the speakers before anyone even suspects Sheridan was murdered? They're gonna think she was sleepwalking again, or that she was so distraught over losing her baby that she, I don't know, committed suicide. Look, I know you think I'm evil. Maybe I am. But I am an evil genius. Teresa! What was that crash? What's going on? Is the boy all right? Are you guys crazy? That glass could have cut my son. She's absolutely right, officer. Our primary concern here is the child's welfare. I saw a chance to get in and get the kid. I thought that's what we were here for. Well, you're not supposed to put the kid in danger, you fool. I'm terribly sorry, Teresa. I know that you must have been terrified. This is not normal procedure, I assure you. Look, I don't know what kind of official that you are, but it's obvious you do not know how to take care of a child. I told you I'm from Child Protective Services, and we only have the child's best interests at heart. I'm his mother. I'm the one who should be taking care of him. Now, who says that I'm unfit? You'll see it all in the report. What report? Okay, who did this? Who put you up to this? I can't reveal our sources. Look, I don't know what kind of report you have but you can see that I am not unfit just look around you look at this home this is my mother's home okay and she's a wonderful loving grandmother and the Ethan he's, he's well fed and and he, he's surrounded by people who love him he loves me he loves his mommy do you understand that he would be heartbroken if you took him away from me do you see any sign of neglect or abuse well I have to admit, he, he does seem to be in good condition, and he certainly seems to love his mother. Yes, he does. So obviously we received some bad information. Now, could you just please go away? Could you leave me and my son alone, please? What, what happened to my baby? <sighs> tell us, tell us what you think you saw. I, I was, I was filling the tub, and then I, I, I got undressed, and I thought I, I saw something in the tub, so I went to go get a closer look, and I, I could see that there was something in the water. It was, it was a baby in the water. It was, it was my baby. It was drowning, and so I, I got to save my Sharon, baby. Sharon, Sharon. Honey, you were hallucinating. <laughs> You saw the water, and you made the connection with what happened to your babe. Yeah, it was a logical assumption to make, okay? Sure, you know, maybe you shouldn't go to the funeral, okay? What? No, no, I, I have to be there for Gwen. She's my best friend. Sure, and Ethan's going to be there with Gwen, and so will Gwen's mother. That's right, they're going to understand, okay? No, I can't let my own pain keep me from being supportive of Gwen, all right? She was there for me when I lost my baby. She helped me through it. She, she, she was there for me. Now, I, I have to go to this funeral. I have to. Yes, yes, you will. You go to the funeral. Yeah. It's okay. I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll be all right, really. I really will be. How are you holding up? I'm all right. I'm just worried about Gwen. Gwen will be all right, because I know you'll always be there for her. You've changed so much in the last year. Ever since traveling with, with uh, Tabitha's nephew, Timmy, sometimes I just wonder. What do you wonder? I was just going to say, I, I wonder what my life would have been like sometimes if um, this new Julian would have been my father. I wonder that sometimes myself. I know these are difficult times for you. And I know that you and I have talked about love before. I once told you to be with a woman you truly love, or you would regret it for the rest of your life. I remember. And you're, you're, you're not my son, and you're not my son by blood, at least, but... Julian, Julian, what are you trying to say? Just this, I... 
I hope you'll work things out with Gwen. You're married. Make your marriage work. Um, you're young. You can have many children. Love Gwen with everything you have. Love your children with everything you have. Don't make the same mistakes I did. I made a mistake long ago. But I compounded that mistake by not loving your mother, by not cherishing Ivy and treating her the way a woman deserves to be treated. <laughs> Promise me you won't reveal this to your mother. No, no. Of course not, Julian. You'd be good to Gwen. You'd make a wonderful life for yourselves. You have to believe me, I would never in a million years hurt my child, and I've certainly never neglected him. Now, if you just go away, I'm not going to report the damages that you've done to my home, and I'm, and I'm not going to tell them the, the, the danger that you put my child in. Don't threaten me, Teresa. I'm not threatening you. I'm just trying to convince you that you are making a really big mistake. Now, he belongs with me. He's my son. These things are never easy, but until the court has determined that little Ethan is not being neglected, I have to take him. I'm not going to let you take him from me. Well, then we're going to have to do this the hard way. What are you doing? <coughs> Don't! Don't! No! No, little Ethan! Mommy! No! Mommy! No! Can't you see that you're upsetting him? No, please don't to take him. He needs me. He wants his mommy. Mommy! Please don't do this to me, my son. He wants to be with that boy, my son. May I have your attention, please? Will the family please come forward to pay their final respects? We'll be starting the service in just a moment. Teresa is paying for this right now. Damn Teresa to hell. Please. Please don't do this. Give me my son back. He wants me. He needs me. Teresa, I wish I had a choice, but I don't. A court order was issued stating that little Ethan was to be taken out of your custody. That order was to be executed today. No amount of begging or fighting is going to change that. No, you can't do this. You can't. I'm sorry. He's in our custody now, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Mommy! I'm really going to take you no, please, you can't do this. You can't. Give me my son. Give me my son. No. No. A 
I still think you should think twice about going to the funeral. I think so, too. Come on, Sheridan, you need rest. No, I, I feel fine, Louise. Okay, I... I want to go. I told you, I, I have to go. I have to be supportive of Gwen. Please, Eve, tell them. Yes, of course, honey, you have to go. And she, we're going to go with her. Yeah. You see? No, I just need to get ready, and then we'll be out, and we can go. Okay? Dr. Russell, what happens if Sheridan can't take it? Dr. Russell, I think it's going to kill her when she sees that baby's coffin. Oh, well, that's certainly a possibility. But she's so determined to go, I, I think that it would do more harm than good to try and prevent her from going. So I think she's just going to need a, a lot of support and no tension. We'll do whatever it's best for Sheridan. Absolutely. Good, because she doesn't need any other stress in her life. What more is going to happen in my life? Oh, now what in blazes are you doing? I'm loosening the dirt, the edge of the cliff, so that the cliff will crumple when Sheridan gets close to it. You are insane! You do know that, don't you, Bethy? You do this evil thing. You're gonna eat me crazier than you already are. They're gonna cut you off in a straitjacket. Woo! Beth, are you hearing me? You are gonna be in a straitjacket because no sane person would do this evil thing. This, this is cold-blooded murder. That's right, Mother. But with Sheridan out of the way, I will have everything that I want. Oh. And you know me, I will not stop until I get everything that I want. And I want Sheridan to walk off this cliff. What with her hearing her baby cry and her emotional state in this very dangerous cliff. Yeah, I would say that Sheridan Crane is a dead woman walking. <gasps> There's nothing I'd like more than to see Charity dead. Sharon should be back by now. Oh, God, that's my baby. This is almost too easy. No, no, he's been kidnapped. He's been kidnapped. This holiday season, what better gift than new comedy on NBC Thursday? Surprise! Starting with a must-see Friends. How you doing? Then. On an all-new Good Morning Miami, Tiffany Thiessen's out to ruin Jake. Bum, bum, bum. And on Will and Grace, Barry Manilow. <laughs> with Will as his biggest fan of love. Hello, bandstand. Bandstand. You're not that bad. <laughs> Plus, Scott Foley's back on an all-new Scrubs. New comedy, NBC Thursday.